Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows polycystic kidney disease, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, AD, PKD is a disease where cysts are seen in both the liver and kidneys. This video also shows enlarged seminal vesicles in the same patient. You can see the size of the kidney is increased. The most cysts do not need to be treated, but the occurrence of stone is more common in cases suffering from PKD, polycystic kidney disease. It is the fourth leading cause of kidney failure. It causes the, the PKD causes cysts to grow inside the kidneys. The kidney, these cysts make the kidney much larger than they should be and they can damage the renal tissue. The cortical thickness is in decreased. Some common symptoms of polycystic kidney disease can include high blood pressure, back or side pain, headache, a feeling of fullness in your abdomen, increased size of the abdomen due to enlarged kidneys, blood in the urine, kidney stones, kidney failure, urinary tract or kidney infections. Now you can see the left kidney, it is also enlarged in size and it measures 18.1 into 9.6 centimeter with decreased cortical thickness. Now you can see the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder has thick sludge in it. A small amount of thick sludge is seen. Now this was the in size of the prostate which is not enlarged. Now you can see the seminal vesicles. And these are the enlarged seminal vesicles. Both sides are enlarged. The seminal vesicles are paired accessory sex glands of the male reproductive system. The seminal vesicles produce over two-thirds of the ejaculate and is very high in fructose. Each seminal vesicle span approximately 5 cm, though its full unfold length is approximately 10 cm, but it is curled up inside the gland structure. You can see the seminal vesicles. Seminal vasculitis is an uncommon entity characterized by inflammation of the seminal vesicles. It is most commonly infective in etiology and often associated with occurrence is with concurrence infections elsewhere in the male genital tract forming part of the spectrum of the male accessory gland inflammation. Thanks for watching. You can see the further information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks.